<coughs> Again. So if you are going to be watching this on uh, YouTube, the sides are going to be cropped soon because this was originally recorded for Instagram. Holy shit, my hair looks like crap. Story time! So I, like many of you, has been shopping a lot online recently because it's so convenient, right? You just sit at home in your underwear and you click on Amazon and uh, Google and uh, Lazada and the likes. You know, you click on the button, it says order placed, it sends you an email to confirm what you've ordered and then the, another notification will come in to say that, oh, it's on the way to you and it appears right at your door, right? But in this highly efficient and very hot country of Singapore, I don't know how much this applies to any other country in the world we have just one uh, supplier no one provider who um, just occasionally decides that you're not home I've had dozens of parcels delivered to me over the last couple of months because everything was on sale by almost every major and small player of the logistics businesses in Singapore it's just one company just one provider That's uh, Singapore Post, or uh, Sing Post for short. The national uh, postal provider of Singapore. And the most amazing part is this. Every single person who's living in this beautiful island of Singapore knows that our own national carrier will just conveniently decide that you're not home. So then I got to go queue up at the post office for what was nearly half an hour. It took me 10 minutes to travel there, 10 minutes to travel back and that's because I'm on the scooter. It would take me another half an hour if I took the bus. That is one and a half hours on a Saturday to collect a parcel yay small. There is one parcel, there were 40 people in the line, every one of them, okay, I wouldn't say every, 90% of them were holding that nice little slip that says that, hey, you know, we put it at the post office so you can conveniently collect them because you were not at home. I was lucky because I just had one. Some of them had like three or four and everyone knows this. They don't call, they don't text, they don't tell you when they're delivering. They just decided, hey, today seems like a very good day. I'll just go try and then conveniently decide that you're not home. And I'm a person, I don't work a 9 to 5 office job. I'm home every single day of the week. How does the delivery man miss that? Just ask anyone on the street, when have they had a parcel successfully delivered to them by SingPost? No. And by the way, just to make things clear, the guys at SingPost at the counter, uh, they were very nice people, very cheerful, very willing to help you. Just part of a system that's obviously broken for I don't know how long. I mean, this is just a national embarrassment because when the national postal provider can't even deliver to your house when your door is wide open, something is seriously wrong. How difficult is it to drop a call or a text? Are your profit margins that small that you cannot afford a call and a text? Though you do seem to have enough money to send the postal guys our way to just visit our house and say, hey, we were here. Nice house. No, and this is the best part of it. You know the paper that they sent you? There's like a photocopy or an image of the parcel that they were going to deliver to you. It's like they've already decided for you. It's like, nope, you're not going to be home today. But I'll come over to say hi anyway because that's the polite thing to do. If I ever have to ship something or have something shipped to me, I never, ever, if I have a choice, use sing post. Wake up, sing post. Time to get your shit together. Not that it'll matter anyway because most of us have moved on to other providers.